Hi, my friends call me Lime and I wear glasses once in a while. Actually, last comment episode, I kept reading some of the comments wrong, so I had to do a lot of retakes. So I figured that maybe I should wear my glasses. So, this is what you had to say about nervousness. Crazy Eyed Gamer says, I believe that this might be one of my biggest issues. I talked to one of my friends today and this video helped me support my idea. My goal is going to be to be crazy, like my name, and create funny, genuine content. I need to enjoy myself more and talk more and try to get over the fear of talking to large or even small audiences. Thanks for this tip line. Exactly. Go with your fire, go with who you are and that in turn will help you take care of both nervousness and genuineness. I'm very happy to have helped you to get to confidence to just go with what you want to do. Master Tate? Tate? Let me see. No, not Russian. Tight. Tight. Okay, that's the one I'm going with. Um, Master Tight says, does anyone have tips on building up confidence on vlogging in public? So far, I do it either in my house or in the local area when no one is there. Would really appropriate, I think they mean appreciate, some advice on becoming more confident. Yeah, I hear you. I have that problem too. Uh, the few times that I do vlog in public, it can be like 10 seconds, but it take me takes me 10 minutes to emotionally prepare for it. Uh, and I even have trouble rehearsing in a rehearsal room by myself, just because I, I'm afraid that people outside might hear me. And what helps me is a little bit of mental reprogramming and experience. I figure that no one expects you to be good in a rehearsal room. And so you don't have to be good. And so I just kept doing it. And after a while, you just get used to it. And if you don't believe me, then listen to this guy. It was Jovi who said that as someone who's gone from having state fright to giving a talk to an auditorium of a hundred plus university students, I can tell you the best. Oh, really? Blue screen. <laughs> okay, problem solved. It was Jovi. As someone who's gone from having state fright to giving a talk to an auditorium of 100 plus university students, I can tell you the best way to overcome nervousness is to practice like hell. Constantly put yourself in a position where you need to speak, whether it be to a camera, five people or 50 people. Realize that no one cares about your mistakes more than you, so don't be afraid to mess up because it will only make you better. And this is a great tip. If you have a specific situation that makes you very nervous, then keep doing it because you will eventually get used to it. Start small and then work your way up to what you want to achieve. Keep in mind though that people are different and there might be different reasons for why you're nervous and so different tips might be the best tips for different people. And Pyragon says, oh man, I've had so much trouble with nervousness for as long as I can remember. Not too long ago, I realized something that has helped me tremendously ever since. I realized that it's okay to be nervous and make mistakes. If someone gives you crap for it, either just shrug it off or keep what they said with you so you can try to avoid doing it again. Something that I've learned on all my years on stage is that Mistakes have entertainment value. The audience usually loves when you make mistakes on stage. Uh, on some productions, it's actually a tradition to, on the last episode, throw in as many surprises as you can, unrehearsed things, to throw your co-actor off balance, making them laugh when they're not supposed to, and the audience loves it. And actually, mistakes can help your audience to connect with you because it shows that you're human. If you're too perfect, then you don't have that effect as much. The one sin says, I'm too awesome to be nervous. What did I just say? 
Dealer4519 says, Well done. Sometimes I pretend that my audience are my friends. I tend to be less nervous if speaking to a group of my friends. Exactly. It's very common to think of your audience as a threat, but they're really not. They're actually on your side. They want you to do well, otherwise they wouldn't get a good show. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I don't think that I ever talked about my own channel. I have a channel called Proud to be Fruit, where I aim to empower LGBT plus people and allies by providing arguments and debunking myths by looking at what the research actually says. And I do this because I want to contribute to a more accepting world and help any LGBT plus person who struggle with an inner conflict to realize that there's nothing wrong with you. So there should be like some button somewhere here that takes you to my channel. So wherever it is, wherever, 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 wherever it is, click it and I'll see you there. Uh, until then, bye.